Hello, 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 everybody. Here is Dr. Go Wild again talking about different topics and sites. Remember, guys, that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hme.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Go Wild which topics do we have research community education care delivery hours and achievement the article to review today is how can we make hospitals more sustainable a conversation with jonathan stultman all right guys i'm gonna start this review straight away jonathan stultman is a harvard medical school assistant professor of emergency medicine director of the center for the environment and health and medical director of environmental sustainability at massachusetts general hospital you are an emergency medicine physician how do you get into climate change that's a question I start out as an environmental engineer and then I made the slightly inexplicable choice to go into medical school. During my residency, one of my advisors said that a mass general they had reasonable suture kits for fixing laceration, but at Brigham and Women's Hospital they had only disposable ones. I start looking into what the environmental difference was and realize I could be an environmental engineer focused on healthcare. I can speak both languages. I enjoy taking care of patients, but what gets me up in the morning is asking how we can deliver that care people need without causing as much environmental harm. From Cambridge, Massachusetts at Harvard University, I want to remind you guys that we are doing these beautiful reviews. Thank you to the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You will be also able to browse thousands of articles. This article is how can we make hospital more sustainable? All right, second question for this article. How and why did the Center for the Environment and Health get a start? Six years ago, I identified a core group of three or four clinicians at Mass General Hospital who recognized that the climate is changing, that is hurting our patients, and that we in healthcare are contributing to it. We asked Peter Slavin, he is a medical doctor who was then the hospital's president, to devote more resources toward environmental sustainability. He formed a sustainability commitment made up of the leaders and non-clinical departments, individuals who control many of the process that lead to clinical emissions. It turned out they were really enthusiastic about helping. So we built on that. We got funding and created the center as a place to dedicate the time, energy, and people to coordinate on environmental sustainability across this big institution. Alright guys, their question, what are you proudest of that this center has helped accomplish? On the energy side, 100% of the electricity at Mass General Hospital is now sourced from renewable generators. That's a big deal. We have also reduced the unintentional release of greenhouse gases. On the research front, we have produced studies on environmental repercussion, like our 2022 paper in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology on the climate change effects of hemodialysis. We have done ways out these on inpatient medicine and in our 2020 paper in the Western Journal of Emergency Medicine, grow about waste generation and disposal practice in the emergency departments. Our My Green Laboratory Construed Service is measuring potential improvements in a handful of laboratories. 
we also affect the design of a new building, the Rangon building, a move toward greater energy efficiency for the building led to elimination of a gas line in the design. When complete, 80% of the building energy needs will be from renewable sources and 15% will be met with steam produced by a nearby cogeneration plant which has a plan to decarbonize as well. We have designed an education model for the faculty and are incorporating climate into our training curriculum. We have also instigated culture change. Our director of perioperative service recently got a request to disposable bronchoscopes in our operating rooms and his first reaction was that, oh, that's expensive. It was that doesn't sound very environmentally sustainable. But he is the administrator, that's the king of the things we need that happen in a long term. Alright guys, four question. To what extent are carbon reduction solutions generic or do they need to be customized to institutions or departments? Most of it is not really custom. It takes some efforts to come up with the ideas, test them and identify what works. But once we have done that, we can share them or others can implement them. Alright guys, last question. What do you say to healthcare professionals who feel overwhelmed by the problem? We got into medicine because we see it is our mission to help sick people get better and keep people from getting sick to begin with. Environmental sustainability provides an avenue of doctors and nurses and pharmacies and everyone to do that. Alright guys, remember you can download this beautiful article from the browse of the magazine and the title is How Can We Make Hospital More Sustainable? This article has been posted by Andrew Dawson. He is the manager of future content and multimedia in the Harvard Medical School Office and Communications and External Relations. All right, guys, remember you can download this beautiful podcast from Dr. Wild Podcast in Spotify. Have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye-bye.